Now I'm going to introduce our speaker who's been patiently waiting in the wings with a great big grin on his face. So I can't wait. I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Our speaker is Steve Groskopf. He is a career advisor with a company called Gobi, Gobi Inc. Uh, and he's going to be talking about researching companies and what a huge, uh, important part of the job search that is. Uh, he is the founder and president of Gobi Inc., a career services firm. His background includes working as a recruiter for a private staffing firm, as a placement coordinator and career coach for a Chicago college, and as a director of recruiting. Experiential topics include recruiting, employee relations, behavioral interviewing, staffing, and retention consulting. He has a bachelor's degree from Northern Illinois University and served on the NIU Employers Board for Cooperative Education. There'll be plenty of time for you to ask questions about any of those topics or about what he's going to talk about. So without any more uh, delay, uh, let's give a nice welcome to Steve Grosskopf. All right. Thank you very much. Um, one, I do want to uh, lay the groundwork that this is my first uh, Zoom. I'm usually a walker and talker during my presentations. Uh, so whiteboards, markers, things going on. Um, but I do want to take this opportunity to thank uh, uh, Shannon, the whole Launchpad Job Club, the whole idea. Um, we've shared a kindred spirit. And uh, Kathy, I'm getting from you too. Same thing is, you know what, at the end of the day, I just want everyone to be able to find work. Um, so what can we do to make that happen? Um, I am a big proponent of saying there is no secret sauce. Uh, there's just a lot of hard work. And I know most of you are familiar with that. So uh, that is not lost on me. And uh, hopefully things to help each other. Um, it really is. No one is the subject matter expert. We're all in this together. Um, but maybe there's some tips and tricks that we can share and, and help. So a little background about myself. Uh, thank you, Kathy, for the intro. That's spot on. Um, but I've been doing it for, for some time. And I liked uh, taking in everybody. Job search is unique. And so I want to say, you know, we hear the headlines and see the headlines. Everybody's hiring. And it's true. There's, there's a great, this is a great time. Uh, but boy, and we've all been there too, three months in, six months in, 12 months in, 21 months in, and you're not getting what you want. It can become very frustrating when you're hearing all that noise um, about everything happening for others. So that's not lost on me. Um, and hopefully I can share some things that to ease the burden a little bit. So uh, let me start off. I am going to go through uh, kind of my overall presentation. Uh, it's just so a little background, but we're Today, we're going to focus on research. And uh, as my wife will commit, I or uh, uh, back me up on this, is I wander a little bit in my conversations. I will make the point, uh, but I, I tend to ramble a little bit. So uh, I pre apologize for that. But today, we're going to uh, focus in on research. Um, so, question uh, Why do you have a camping background or a tent uh, as your presentation? I've done hundreds of meetings, been in hundreds of meetings. We all may have or have not, depending if you're new to the work world. There are so many boring backgrounds. I love the outdoors. Um, I've been camping on uh, uh, Big Ben uh, down there in Texas. Um, just like to get out. So I decided that is my background. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. So again, a big thanks to Launchpad. I, when you meet certain people, you just know that there is a instant connection. Uh, Shannon is one of those. And I know I'm not alone in that feeling. So uh, I just want to thank you again for the opportunity. Um, also, I am dusting off the cobwebs on my presentations. I do do presentations that may not appear so today, uh, but it has been since pre-pandemic uh, that I've done one. So this may be all done in five minutes as I speed through as a, I've had my caffeine this morning or uh, it may take a little bit of a work in progress. So I appreciate your patience. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, uh, I'm trying to keep tabs on if uh, anyone needs to link on to me. Otherwise, I will just kind of pull forward. This is what I present um, and during a seminar. And uh, I can do uh, a 15, 30 minute hour presentation on each of these, uh, but just kind of run through real quick. It's kind of a background on how I approach it. Uh, I've been part of many resume workshops. 
where there's 10, 20, 30 tables, um, each with recruiters or career coaches and things like that. And the one thing I say is, you know what? You're going to have 10, 20, 30 different opinions on how you should do this. That's where I come back to each job search is unique. Uh, so here's my interpretation. This is what I've seen, some of the insight I've gained uh, over a career in helping people find work, um, but also working with employers as a recruiter. So um, kind of soup to nuts. You pick and choose what you need. It's an a la carte system. Some people like, I need really help uh, on resumes. I need help on interviewing. Uh, we choose. I first want to start with, if you haven't done it, you need to start with a self-assessment. Um, good example, I just worked with a stockbroker, which is a unique job skill set. Um, that is an environment that is hard to transfer to other uh, uh, positions. Um, it's a unique environment. And so he took the self-assessment and working with his friend and his wife, uh, all full knowledge to himself, took it and said, this did not apply whatsoever. Where myself, his friend and his wife all agreed it was spot on. So have that conversation first. Um, get to know thyself. Uh, know um, kind of where your strengths lie, what the employers may be looking for and have a conversation there. Is it the end all be all? Absolutely not, it's a tool. Um, don't take too much to heart what it says, but also don't ignore it uh, at your own peril. Uh, understand a little bit more. And of course, I recommend this as I do with a good resume rewrite each, you know, uh, once a year, we don't do it. Uh, but it's good to do these uh, and really check in because it will change. Uh, what you were good at the first five years of your, your career is different than the five, you know, last five. So self-assessment is always key. And there's free ones out there. Um, I am the big proponent of free, which is a terrible business model. Um, but uh, what I think there is a, a lot of good information there and, and then have that kind of somebody that's an expert that, that can help. Um, so big fan of free, but I also will promote strength finders. I am a big fan of strength finders. Nothing wrong with knowing your weaknesses. Um, we all know that recruiter question. Um, I don't use it. Um, so I look for where somebody really wants to excel. And so that's a nice one that for, for me is a good starting point in working with somebody uh, in their job search. Career plan. Have a first career plan, have a second career plan, have a third career plan. Uh, I When I do my little whiteboard, um, Part of, and we'll get into this in job search, uh, is focus 75 per 80 percent of your time in that first job search. Um, and that can range. If you're only searching one hour a week, it's that. If it, you're working, if you're searching 40 hours a week, it's that. Um, but really focus on something that is you want to do, you're qualified to do, and that there's a marketplace for. That second one, hey, spend 10, 20 percent of your time in is that catch all. Um, good generic job search, customer service, HR, sales. I'm not demeaning any of those positions. I just, they're wide ranging and saying, ah, I was an office manager or I'm a photographer. How does that relate? Well, guess what? You probably dealt with clients. You've worked with people. So you have some operational experience. Look for an office manager uh, position, something that can tide you over while you're doing a job search. Um, so, uh, side note, a little uh, house clean for the day. Uh, I will be around for a little uh, Q&A afterwards, but not much. My mother-in-law is retiring after 40 years uh, working in the school system. Uh, so I do have a, a place to be, but I am available. Shannon will uh, attest. Um, if you shoot me an email or you know, feel free to, to link up anything like that, uh, and I'll follow up with you. Uh, just won't be maybe right after the meeting today. Um, so real quick, I realize, you know, I want to make sure that we, we touch on the subject today. Resume. I do spell it on purpose with a Z. Uh, I love putting that up and just hearing the murmur of people like, does he know he spelt it wrong? Yes. Um, but uh, having reviewed uh, thousands of resumes um, from English majors, uh, you'd be surprised how many accidents happen, even on my own. Um, I will send out an email, uh, you know, with an error. Uh, I'm, you know, none of us are perfect, but a little extra work, another set of eyes, somebody that knows you, uh, I have no gift of prose. Uh, so I will have people look it over uh, to make sure that you're presenting your best self. 
uh, to an employer. Correspondence, same thing. Um, I am a big fan of being genuine, uh, being transparent. I understand some of the, the blowback right there is like, I've tried and it's, you know, I've shot myself in the foot. I get that. That's a conversation with a coach or uh, a volunteer at a launch pad. Um, how to be genuine, um, but also again, present your best self. Um, target list, start with that first. Um, so, hey, I wanna work for Dell. I wanna work for Indeed. Great, we all do. They're big companies in town. Um, but what about some of those mid-sized companies or a, a built-in Austin, Texas, uh, where they're up and coming? Is it higher risk? Potentially, uh, that's something that you have to weigh out. Um, but uh, let's create that target list and spend time there. Um, and I'll get into that on the research aspect. Research that we're gonna talk today, um, scope that out. Don't spend all your time. I've worked with plenty of job search uh, seekers that love research. They'll spend all 40 of 40 hours on research um, because they enjoy delving into the, the granular level. Um, not good. You need to balance that out. And we'll talk about that. Um, but just want to keep fresh what's going on. Um, a list is only as, as good as it is printed because it's out of date uh, as soon as it is. Um, so you want to make sure that you're staying on, on top of things. Um, let's run through the rest. Networking. We're doing it right here. Uh, big fan of uh, this group and other groups. Feel free to link up. Um, I understand I talk to plenty of people that are um, hesitant and I, I get it um, that, hey, I want to keep it my close network, you know, my five to 10 you know, people. I understand that. And that's that's an option. Um, but use this as an exercise in job search and you can extend that and then retract and say, hey, you know what? I was in a job search. I want to do that. Um, it, can it come across as unfriending in Facebook? Yes. Uh, but I think if you're up front people and you understand this is the purpose for a professional network, that's great. You can uh, use other mediums uh, to extend yourself. So start out close, but then extend yourself. Uh, network is so important, which I know we've covered here uh, in this group and every other group that you've, you've been a part of or, or seen uh, the importance. So I'll stay off of that. The actual job search. Again, no secret sauce. Uh, it's all numbers, um, you know, uh, having somebody search for 21 months and hundreds of uh, applications, you understand that it, it stinks when the numbers don't work, but it's about that. How, you know, how many good qualified opportunities can I get this week? Five, one, 10. Um, so the job search in the process. Uh, interviewing, hey, I've had tons of interviews, no offers. Hmm. That looks like that might be the, the valley in the process. Uh, that might be the variable in your algorithm uh, that we need to focus on. Good chance to, to talk to a coach or a volunteer here at Launchpad. Offers, hey, it's great. I got an offer. I'm taking it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know I've been looking for 12 months and I want to, but really let that sink in. And is this the opportunity you want? Um, so talk about that. Taking a better opportunity. I have a job. I want out of this job. You know, let's see if uh, we can do that work up front and get that process started uh, before you make that leap or when you do. Um, but let's look at that next opportunity in your in your career path. And then options. Uh, what a in the humanity is not lost on me of the pandemic. And so when I say these words, I I try to put it in context. Um, but what a blessing. And I am a card carrying optimist. So uh, just again, sensitivity to anybody that's. Uh, truly felt the impact of this pandemic. Um, but there is a silver lining. Uh, I hopefully that you can take it. And one of those is remote side hustles. Um, there's more than one way to skin a cat. If your goal is financial freedom, uh, you know, think about opportunities there. Uh, if your goal is career um, promotion, pathway there, um, but just different opportunities and transition. It has been... Um, an amazing time. And I say amazing, not good, just amazing time that I don't think anybody that has been in the business of human resources, recruiting, uh, employing has seen anything like this. Uh, I can say definitely. So um, different options that you can have while you do your job search. So let's go to, to research. <laughs> there we go. Why do I need research? Um, I work with plenty of salespeople and they're like, yeah, 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 details. Just get me in there and I can land the deal. Um, I think we all know the, the 
hits. If I were to ask each of you, you know, why should we do some research? You're going to jump to the, the typical ones, like the ones on the screen. Um, you know, I want to know a little bit more. So when I interview, I can say, hey, I understand you have, you know, a uh, position here in Austin, but you also have locations in Houston and Dallas too. Um, and to have that background knowledge during an interview. Um, but it's a lot more than that. Um, one thing that I've noticed um, interviewing people too is that you have a different conversation with somebody that makes it a part of their process. And that's what I'd like for you to take away today. Uh, if it's one thing that you do, um, and of course I'll say that multiple times, uh, but if it's one thing you take away today is just incorporate it into your process. And then we'll get into the mechanics a little bit because it can be, the thought of that might be a little overwhelming. Like, oh, I'm applying to you know 20 jobs this week. If I do research on each of those, I, I'm just, I'm buried. So um, let's talk about it, but first, really make part of your process is this is an integral part of your, your job search. And I am a big fan of reference point A, of knowing yourself, knowing your strengths. I am not a research guy. I'm not an admin uh, person. Um, so what I do is I partner with somebody and I'm, I'm sure we've talked about it and maybe uh, not um, a very effective job strategy can be partnering with somebody in your job search, both uh, the fellowship, um, but also just, hey, I'm hitting this and there's another event over there. Let's swap notes at the end of it. Um, research can be that. Hey, I know you are applying to Tesla. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad word here. Um, but, you know, I, I heard this great opportunity. It was from a networking group that um, belongs in California. Um, and if you're teamed up, uh, that's another set of eyeballs out there looking for you. So, you know, you bring that into your process. You can share that with uh, other job seekers too. And the benefit is when I'm talking to somebody that's done genuine research, um, it's conversational. It's not, I'm proving a point that I looked at your company website 15 minutes before my interview. Um, I see you're located in Austin since 1979. Um, it's a genuine understanding of the opportunity that you're applying to. And we'll get into that. Um, the enthusiasm too. Um, you can tell when somebody's applying to a job. In fact, I just had an interview right before this, this group, um, four different people. And the one that had genuinely done the company and what has been going on, what is going, could not contain the excitement. Like, hey, I, I see that the merger just happened and I know that can be a tough time, but I see where you guys are going with this, this and that. Um, so it's, it's, it, it really, it, you know, I don't want to make uh, the comparison to dating, but it probably has been done. So I'm just going to do it. It's different when you have that uh, confidence in just knowledge of what you're talking about and approaching. Um, and then if it's genuine excitement, they can sense that. Uh, and it's just, hey, we have a connection going on here. Let's have a separate conversation. Whereas a recruiter, you know what, I'm, I'm interviewing 10 people this morning and I'm going to go through the material that I need to get done. But if I have a connection with that person, uh, it, it really makes a difference. And so research can be a part of that. Um, matching culture. So if you've done your research and you start seeing things uh, about the people that are working there, hey, that's a lot of type A people. They are very, uh, they're five on a scale of one to four. Do I want to work at a place that uh, works, you know, with, uh, in the fire hose mentality? Some people do. They're like, bring it on. Let's let's go. Like I, I get up at three in the morning and I'm ready to go. Um, others like to wait to maybe nine or 10 to get going. Um, find that culture. I, that's one of the most common questions I get from job seekers is how do I know really what's going on inside the company? And unfortunately, there isn't. And it's, a, it's both sides. Employers want to know the real you, uh, not just the interview you. And then the job seeker wants to know the real company. Um, and that's going to take time. You know, it's, uh, it's getting in there. But if you do that research, I, I think you can base yourself in a lot more information. Again, start seeing all those people. Wow, it's a lot of Ivy League people there. That's great. But I have a thing where I just want to work with people that are willing to go out. Uh, no judging Ivy League people um, that, you know, I want to have a beer on Fridays with uh, my coworkers. You can get that kind of sense. And uh, volunteers at a job club 
uh, would be a great resource saying, hey, you know what, I've heard really good things about this. Or the R&D department at Dell is very intense, but working on very exciting things. Um, that kind of insight can come out of research. So, next. So, um, so in time, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of, you know, go through this real quick. I've made a couple uh, uh, slides for a couple particular ones. And then um, I kind of grouped some of them at the end. So I don't want to blow past it, but I want to touch on each one of them. So, Steve, let me let me just say too that you got a late start uh, because of us, and so feel free to take your as much time as you need. Gotcha. I, no, I appreciate. Uh, and and we've all been in meetings, and it's just like, hey, I know there's you know like I want to I want to catch them, but I appreciate that. That's great. Um, so here's when I when I talk to researchers, this is kind of the the run through that I I, I speak to. Um, company website, no brainer. You Google, you know, researching for a job interview, this is going to pop up. And it is, that's what I was talking about. This is uh, 101, and I'm not going to really delve into it because this is a, a no brainer. However, uh, it, and, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait till that slide. Uh, I do jump ahead a little bit. Um, databases, what's out there? Um, what is a database for research and job searching? LinkedIn, again, no brainer. Uh, hopefully, all of you are swapping LinkedIn. Uh, profiles as we speak. I saw that in the chat. So uh, awesome job. Glassdoor, indeed, wink, wink, wink uh, to the to the sponsor. Um, Google News Alerts, a fa uh, big fan of that. Competitors, uh, social media, same thing. It's a, I want to say it's a no-brainer. That is not uh, knocking anybody that isn't a part of that world and doesn't want to be a part of that world, uh, but it's good to be aware of it. Um, and then the interview. Uh, knowing too much information. So we'll get on that. Oh, did I? Yeah, I got off of it. Company website. Um, do judge them by their website. Uh, and let's take in this. Obviously, you're going to come at it a very different way depending on the job you know type that you're looking for, the industry that they're in, uh, who you are. Uh, but really, you're going to get a good sense of the company. Um, there are large companies that have very static websites and don't spend, don't give it a lot of love. Um, and that's okay. Uh, but if you're looking for uh, something, you know what, hey, I'd like to change careers and get somebody with in, in maybe a fresher approach to the industry, things like that, disruptor, or something like that. I want to know that they're spending time using the tools available to them. Company website is a no brainer. Um, so if they're just putting things up because they have to, that gets you a sense of the culture. Um, now, break that down a little bit. That could be the sense of the culture of the company website admin. However, somebody else signed off on that and says, that's okay. Uh, typically C-level saying, hey, have you seen your website? Um, which I get all the time, which by the way, if you see it, it's ugly. <laughs> uh, so there's, there's gonna be certain priorities that they have. That's starting for you to get a sense of what that company is. So judge them by their website. Um, and it depends on what that website does for them. Uh, some of them are truly a holding page. Five pages about us, product services, um, careers, you know, and things like that. And that's it. That's okay. Um, what information can you glean from that? You know, uh, typically you get some generic about us. We're a very dynamic, uh, you know, IT position, you know, IT company that's been working for 30 years. Okay, uh, didn't really need to post that, but you understand that they're not going to give a lot of that information up front. This is where a good research uh, program or, you know, tool set can come in handy. Um, so know that they're not going to be, you know what, hey, we're not out there giving that information because we want to sell it. That's kind of on you to come and find out about us. Uh, so game on if you're, if that's in one of your top fives, um, type of website, some of them are functional. Hey, buy our product. Uh, we'll list all the stuff that you can do and buy and all that stuff. And that's really the purpose of the website. Um, there's a small little side box about us or careers or anything else. Um, a big key in most people may know this, but it's worth referencing here. Uh, if you can go into the menu option on a website, um, sometimes they'll list a site map that's a little bit of an older thing, um, but still uh, worth it if some companies do or colleges, uh, higher education uh, will do. 
and it's nice it'll give you a whole list of what's on that website and you know pick and choose what you'd like to research and find out a little bit more about um functional informative kind of touched on meaning hey this is just a, a channel for us uh it's a sales um it's not really meant to broadcast who we are and some of them are really good videos uh about their culture about who we are sometimes it's actually a little hard to find the actual job openings it's like five pages in it's like it's great that you guys have you know uh uh squishy chairs um but i do have a job opening. um so again judge a little bit on that uh the background that's a nice one to bring into the interview uh background meaning uh that not the uh, camping background or the outdoors that i have um but the background on the company where they come from are they a recent startup are they a merger and acquisition uh things like that if they have it great that's a great place to find out again maybe not to bring up all the time but to have in the back of your mind oh i'm talking to a more established company maybe some of their challenges are staying relevant in their certain industry uh these are all things that you can have going on in the back of your mind not necessarily for the interview uh but just as as information good way to get a sense of their culture yeah you're going to see the the stuff that they want you to see um but you can start gleaning from maybe news updates or if they have blogs and they're not updated they're not maintained um you get a sense of that hey we've heard that uh doodle zocks are the flavor of the month for employee uh retention and we do that and then a year later no more um so that gets you a sense of the arc of the company um and the culture so just a little key insights that you can get from the website like i said no brainer if you and i are you know similar in some way that some opportunities get more love than the others uh take 5 minutes uh, to look at the company website before the interview that's a that's just a guarantee no matter what um Shannon called you and said you have an interview in you know 30 seconds with XYZ corporation take 15 of those seconds to hit the company website so thank you on that databases um i will share with Shannon uh more detail on this so uh if you just want to you know the i get the idea and then i'll follow up with her uh with actual kind of links and and stuff like that uh, hot links um a lot of these are for pay for companies to research or market research for other companies uh to look into them um say hey i want to know how many uh it businesses there are in austin uh, and you can look that up on what used to be info usa um with 500 employees so typically these are available at your public library uh, i shouldn't say these uh i know info usa was um under data axel i'm not sure uh it, it was pre pandemic um so i'll look into that and follow up with shannon on that um but these are all well, most of them are tools that you can research out there the sba tools um a little daunting um somebody mentioned uh working with the government for job opportunities um working with government for research can be <laughs> um a a um i don't want to say challenge but a in uh, a unique experience in itself so uh with that there's a lot more out there there's uh, free samples uh, if you're googling a company that hey i'm a, a photographer and i want to work for corporate photography um you know you might be able to say how many employers employ a full-time photographer um these are all different filters and ways that you can uh, strategize on creating that target list the ones that you're after um so like i said i want to put this up there a little bit just give you an idea there is amazing information out there a little daunting as we know um that i consider the dark web the third page of a google uh, search uh, result folks so it's up to you kind of how far you want to go with this and also uh just a word of warning limit yourself um because again you can go down a rabbit hole of too much information so most important what gets you the job is another person yeah i know there's ats's and uh you know ai and and things like that but certain at a certain point somebody is going to say yes or no um and obviously identifying those early on is great but even just to get uh back to what i mentioned is the culture of it the sense of it um this is a great way uh lo and behold not every company is on linkedin uh, not everybody's on facebook 
Uh, so there are places that you can, you know, research and, and things like this off, off grid, uh, if you will, and find out about it. And we'll touch on that a little bit in the last, last slide. But LinkedIn is a great way, as most of I think I saw in the chat, uh, people sharing their profiles, uh, to start to find out about those. Uh, clicking on the company uh, LinkedIn, some populate it, some don't. Um, but typically, if people have um, used that company as their where I'm working, it'll show how many employees are on that. Can be somewhat misleading. Uh, tech, for, um, sorry, tech firms, uh, temporary agencies. Uh, people say, "Hey, I'm working for Manpower." So Manpower may have you know 10,000 in the Austin area. Well, they're working on site at uh, Dell. Uh, so you know it's these kind of connections, and that's listed as employee. Um, past employees can be listed as well. So it's one of those things. And not everybody's on there that is working there, meaning they can be on LinkedIn, but if they don't attach that company, a little uh, generic logo will show up and it won't attach itself um, to, a, to the known company. So there's little things to, little caveats to know. Um, but for that, when you go on LinkedIn, review the, the employees that you have, look for a common background. Um, when I was uh, campus recruiting, uh, going on different campuses, uh, you would have companies that would, you know, just look at, at certain, uh, you know, schools. Uh, so, hey, you know, we're going to just hit UT and, and that's it. Or we're going to look at these five uh, campuses. If you notice there's a trend in there and they're all coming out of, you know, a certain school. Um, hey, they're all Longhorns. You may not be a Longhorn, but you know plenty of people that are. Um, and that's a connection that you can make. Again, I'm going to go back to, uh, I made point A, so I'll say exhibit B is spending the appropriate amount of time on this. This can be a rabbit hole, uh, but it can bear fruit. If you know that they're all there, there's alumni connection, your best friend or your family member is a connection. There's no harm in applying that, um, you know, and saying, hey, is there a way I could get a conversation with John or Susie uh, over there? I see that they, they both went to school. Is it a stretch? Sure, I, I grant you that. However, when you do your job search and you have all these action items, that could be one of them. Hey, I have nothing to do. I've applied to every job I, I'm qualified for, nothing less left to do. Not true. Um, you know, these are little things that you can talk in there and build that, that background for. Career paths. Um, this is an excellent one. So uh, when you see, hey, I'm applying for the director of operations for this, you know, 200 person firm, what did the previous person have? You know, where did they come from? Were they homegrown? Did the person start out as customer service and work their way up? Or do they hire from outside? You can start looking at the pedigrees of, of the people working there. Are there a lot of job hoppers? Oh, hey, that might say something about the culture or that's just the nature of the business. Hey, we're a consulting firm. We expect that we're gonna lose people um, on this. So um, that's, that's another thing to, again, kind of file away um, not necessarily you want to bring up into your, you know, interview questions, uh, but good understanding of the company. Um, skill sets, you know, it's an IT firm, but they really want somebody with this kind of skill set. Um, everybody has it, uh, even if it's a LinkedIn skill set. No knocking the um, uh, the skill sets on, on on LinkedIn, but sometimes they seem a little bit scattered. Um, but you get another information point that you can bring in there. Um, education, I have probably one out of 10 job seekers will come to me and saying, hey, I've got to this level, but I don't have a degree. Um, how do we have that conversation? And guess what? Lo and behold, it's much more less uh, an issue, still is. I would, I would bear to say the majority of people stick to their policies. Like, hey, even for the janitor, we're gonna you know, ask for a, a master's. If that's their policy, they stick to it. Um, but it's not an automatic no. Uh, let's have that conversation. Let's see how they're doing on their search. If you're the right match, there, there's a possibility of exception or uh, the company doesn't care in the first place. And the owner doesn't have a degree. Okay, you know, she's probably more willing to do that or he's more willing to do that. So there's, again, information, um, interest. So maybe they're all going to a certain baseball game tonight. Uh, that would be good to know uh, that they, 
their culture is, hey, we're going to work, but we're also going to play a little bit. Um, maybe you don't glean that from um, the different sources, but this, you can see that, hey, we had a great family, you know, company outing it here. Sometimes that'll be a post on LinkedIn, um, but the people, you see more posts like that, really happy to have joined, you know, Oracle uh, and this or uh, Oppenheimer funds um, because they do this. So those are kind of points that you can all glean and bring into you uh, into your interview and just knowledge and target search even before you get an interview start to know where these companies will rank on your target list and here's the kind of the the other ones and typically I'd, I'd go into this uh, but I will I'll kind of touch on these yeah, I'm gonna send Shannon maybe a um, kind of the so a quick bullet point that I would have I've mentioned, I'm going to talk on it now, but different points that, that I can make on that. Um, obviously, you know what, I'm not going to presume what people know about their job search. Hopefully through going through organizations like this, you get a better understanding like, yeah, I know about all these tools. Guess what? That's you, the person next to you in the seat had been working 20 years and hadn't searched for a job. So it is going to be different. And that knowledge you have, you can part on them. And, and again, kind of that fellowship of search. Um, Glassdoor uh, obviously is pretty well known, but still just want to touch on it. Uh, it's a good company review. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, you know, obviously the people that sometimes are the ones to leave reviews, you know, insert Yelp here, uh, may not be the people that you would trust with the potential future career of yourself. So take it with a grain of salt. See what's going on. See what the reviews are on the company. The company may not be listed for the mom and pops um, or just one review. And if that's a negative one, guess what? That, that impacts their score. They're not going to come up on that. So just like with the assessments, take it as one piece of your job search algorithm. Um, but it's an important one to, to add in. Indeed, uh, boy, I, I'm, I can't say enough nice things. Um, one, uh, just the breadth, the depth and breadth, um, they, they get it right uh, in the sense of most positions are going to be up there. There's a lot of variety, things like this. Background profiles, they also get into, uh, but also trends. Um, hey, you know, somebody's hiring in here. When I was working for uh, Navistar, uh, they would be able to pinpoint like, you know what, there is a, a plethora of chassis engineers coming out of Michigan right now because Ford uh, and GM are, are hurting. Obviously, we know that from the headlines, but this stuff would come to us a little bit earlier than everybody else, and, and timing is everything. So trends is a great one. Um, Google News Alerts. I alluded to that earlier. Uh, big fan of this one. This should be a quick no-brainer when you start your search. Hey, I was let go on Friday. Take the day off. I'm a big fan of letting it all wash out, finding a good center point. Uh, on Saturday, see a favorite movie. Um, on Monday, uh, you create that target list, you go through that list, create your target list, set up a Google News bot uh, for that and for your job position, not at that company. So, hey, I wanna be a uh, recruiter at Dell. You know what, I'm gonna set up News Dell um, and then I'm gonna set up News Recruiting and then you can combine it if you want that many, um, but you can pinpoint it and boy, that's just a feed system into you while you're sitting there watching, uh, catching up on Games of Thrones. Yeah, still haven't seen it. Um, you are able to get this scrolling by saying, hey, this is going on. Oh, they're moving over to Singapore. I would really like to work in Singapore. Um, this is all information that's feeding you and creates, again, a more based and founded uh, job search. Uh, so big fan of the, the news alerts. Uh, competitors. Uh, it's another way to set up, you know what, oh boy, you know, Google uh, and, and Facebook and Apple going at it. These are some of the things that we hear about those. Guess what? Everybody has their competitor. Um, it's a small packaging company, you know, in Little Rock, you know, that's this, they have a competitor. Is it a big one? Is it another one right down the street? Or is it the mom and pops coming up and, and chewing on their tail? Um, so these are informations that you can kind of glean saying, you know what? I'm going to keep an eye on that because if they're getting eaten up by this competitor, one, that may change your job search, but two, that's a good source point that you can bring into it. Hey, we're hiring. Oh, why are you hiring? Because a lot of people are leaving for, for the competitor. 
how do we change that for you? You know, that's something that I can do. Something you might say on a, in an interview. Social media. Uh, I love when people aren't on social media. Um, so also can be a, a big time suck. Uh, but even for your job search, if you're committing to 30, 60, 90 days, if you're committing to six months, nine months, whatever you set out as your job search, passive candidate, hey, I'm employed now, but I want to know what's going on. Set uh, a Twitter feed, uh, set a Facebook, set something up where you can play in that area. Um, it's, it's one of those things uh, I've had job seekers come to me like, do I need this? I am a big fan of saying, you tell me if you need this, uh, is, do you need more information? Um, because it would be kind of like not searching with your, your phone right now. Um, I want to do a job search, but I, I don't want a phone. Uh, I don't believe in the technology. Okay. But that just sets the challenge bar that much higher. Um, doesn't mean you need to be uh, a Kardashian on social media. It just needs means that you can be on it, lurk if you want, um, but participate in it. Um, and then, you know what? You can delete it if you'd like to at the end. I'm not going to get into the whole politics and all that stuff. And, hey, is, are they tracking us and, and things like that? You know what? That's your decision to make. But uh, as, as somebody helping somebody in a job search, I would say at least start playing around with it, even if you don't like it. But if you do like it, use it. Um, it's another news source. It's not the end all be all one over the other, but it's another news source. And if they're spending time on it, that means that they value that. Uh, so, hey, who are they trying to grab? If they're going, if they're using Doodle Swap app, that means that they're trying to target this kind of demographic. Okay. That's good to know when I'm interviewing with them. Maybe I have to present myself in a different light. All information. Again, to talk with your, uh, your volunteer at, at Launchpad. Um, this is a big one. Uh, and I've had many cases. Uh, people that may not be comfortable interviewing, you have all this information. Um, I'm going to go back to the analogy of dating. It's a little awkward if you tell them all their own history. So, hey, I really like that you went to the lake uh, last weekend and that red top was really nice on you. Boy, you wear that hat. That's some good fish that you got. Whoa. Um, so what I want to implore upon you is this research is for good information to set yourself apart and have that conversation. None of us want to be that, that person with too much information. Um, it'll set the conversation off uh, a little bit uh, on a trajectory that you may or may not want. So there is such thing as too much information. So I'm going to go back real quick to the uh, kind of the points I said on the job search, the, the main job search that you spend, spend most of your time on, 70 to 80, 90% of your time on. Um, same with the research. I would limit that to your best opportunities. Numbers up to you, but I would I typically recommend one, three, five, ten, kind of in that range. These are some of the things you do on those. I really want to work for Gobi. Who wouldn't? Um, I'm going to spend the time researching that and building that kind of dossier a little bit on that. Hey, there's this mid tier. I qualify for two out of the three requirements. I like the company. I'm going to do a little research, but I'm going to do a light version on that. And so that falls into that, you know, another search and saying, hey, that's, you know, 10 through 50. Um, and then there's the point and clicks. Don't waste your time too much on that unless one of those point and clicks comes back for an interview. And then you spend that 15 seconds, at least on the company website. So just kind of want to gauge yourself, you know, use it. And if you know somebody loves research, and maybe I didn't finish up that thought, uh, that pairing of, of job search, um, had that person saying, hey, you're the researcher. I'm going to go out there and hunt for these things and bring these opportunities back. If you want to do the research, we'll team up. And we think this one's a great one for you. The Library of Congress is hiring, you know, a remote person here in Austin. Um, this is perfect for you. Whereas I need to be out glad handy dealers. Um, you know, know thyself. Goes back to point one. So I think... I get back on. Nope, I went backwards. There we go. So just a, a little uh, catch off for, for me. I My passion is helping people find work. Um, I don't care if I'm doing it as a recruiter, uh, as a career advisor, as a friend, um, as an uncle, uh, I will do it. And so that's, that's the purpose of us. 
I am launching a, uh, I should say we are launching, uh, but I am, it was my idea to launch a Kickstarter in August uh, to see how this goes. Never done a Kickstarter. Um, so uh, we're gonna see if that, that works, um, but more importantly, just getting together like you are now, joining together, working with the, the launch pad, um, you know, we can get through this. So that's my email. I am, I'm out there. I am a little slow to respond as Shannon will attest to. Um, I will get to you. Um, I am a recruiter that will follow up. I know uh, we're dinosaurs, but they're out there. Uh, it's just like sales. Guess what? There are people out there and there are companies that want to, but can't. Um, so that's a whole nother political or a philosophical discussion we can have uh, over a choice beverage. That's the website. Uh, feel free. If you want to ping me, I'll set you up on our, our newsletter. It is a pay thing, not for you. It's free. Um, it's nothing to look at. It's just a monthly, hey, this is what's going on, what we're seeing. Um, target list, I'd uh, be happy to throw some ideas down for you. You provide me your LinkedIn background, um, and I will uh, send you some ideas that I have either through my network or thing. Again, no secret job source or anything like that. It's the same thing you're seeing, um, but maybe I, I looked at it a little bit differently and send you some job opportunities. And uh, always happy to review a resume. Again, you know, it's like opinions. Everybody's got them. Um, you're going to get my feedback. Take it if it lands with you and you're like, yeah, I, I see that. Or, nope, this guy is obviously dabbling in the funny stuff. Um, that's for you. You want to present your best self to that, that opportunity.